everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place Slay the Spire. Yesterday's episode was good. Didn't win. Strong, though. How about today's? Who? Um. Is a, is a bad start? Sort of? Removing a card early scares the crap out of me, man. Could probably afford to remove a strike because Zap and Dual Cast are both pretty offensive, but like, geez, I don't know. Max HP plus seven is just like, meh. Dude, give me 99 gold for a chance to, to make a, a dream come true. Cold Snap Consume? Is it my birthday? Uh, no, but it's close. Thanks for asking. Okay, so. Immediately play that. Lovely news. I don't think we have, like, a, a dream deck. Math was way wrong there. Uh, I don't think we have a dream deck, but I think it's a pretty good start. Consume is an incredible card if you can get it to work for you. So we start with a very thin 10-card deck. Leap is very nice. It's an upgraded block, basically. Claw, in a thin deck, can be really, really powerful if we can get around to it. I'm gonna take a leap, though. I think leap's more consistent. Okay, let's be smart. Really important, especially early. The first floor is super tough if you're trying to go to the fourth floor. What do I mean by that? Well, you sacrifice... I mean, you don't always have to do it all on one floor. But, you know, I'm an idiot, so I do... Um, much of the time, at least. Shh, hold on. I think we want to do this. This doesn't really matter, but... 12 damage. I gotcha. Um, we want to take no damage, because we got other things that definitely need to be done. We lose a campfire, we lose a chest, we lose an elite. Well, we don't lose an elite. The elite's actually a bonus, because you get the relic anyway. Um, I think we'll take charge battery. Hologram, also very good. I'm sorry, my friend. I have no gold. Data Disk. Uh, I love Data Disk, and it kind of, it seems like focus is a potential option here. One focus might not be that much, but I'm willing to do it. I'm also willing to remove a basic card, and I will remove a basic defend, because we've added a leap and a charge battery, and a cold snap, which is a frost generator. Basically, these guys start with artifact. Not really a big problem. Well, I hate it, but we might want to focus on you first. Because you're half dead. We're going to end up with so many dazes as a result, though. Um, I mean, it definitely does feel like you could maybe make consume work here, but... I'm scared, so... I'm still gonna- I'm gonna try, okay? I know we pivoted to starting to do things the same way by fighting these guys, but dual cast made a choice for me. I'm gonna stick with it. Whether I should or not is highly debatable. I think that's a good opportunity for consume. All of a sudden, we're generating five block per turn passively. It's pretty good. I hate you. Um, yeah, let's do it like this. Taking four damage. We're actually, I think we've stabilized, kind of. We're not, st well, uh, stabilize is a bad word for it, because we're not stable. We're still losing a little bit of HP per turn. But we're not losing, you know, we're not going to have turns where we lose 20. Now, we never would have had turns where we lost 20. You, you see, like, you're always poking holes in my theories like that. I'm just trying to present a stream of consciousness discord. Discord? Discourse. Sorry, the startups have ruined me. Um, you know what? Give me double lightning. Very, very frightening me. Someone's going down this turn. Never mind. That someone is me. Taking another 13 damage. This is fine, though. Like, it's actually... It's still okay. This guy is absolutely toast. We're seeing the power of consume to some extent. Coming off that Shiv deck where everything was pretty tight. I'm a little scared right now, but Pantograph, so nice. Emerald Key, necessary. 
thinking. Thinking, just thinking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Costanza it a little bit. I'm gonna try a fusion here. Costanza, of course, in this case means do the opposite um, of what I would normally do. And as I am a little frightened by the prospect of doing this, I, I thought it was the right idea. Let's upgrade two cards. See, we have defend and leap. It, it's expensive from an HP standpoint. I would never dispute that. But I'm hoping that the the existence of Pantograph will kind of help us out, you know? So this will actually, channeling one Frost will give us... Why is my brain broken? We're one focus up. It'll give us three block. Which would then give us five block. I don't like it. Why don't we do this instead? Now we get one extra energy per turn. I don't know if that was actually the right choice, but... It set us up okay. We're playing no powers. Um, FTL. FTL's really great for draw. I kind of see this, or I'm starting to try to see it as like the escape plan, but for the defect. You get to draw a free card, you get a little bonus out of it. Why not? Yeah. Also, I just noticed this is not a spaceship leaving the atmosphere. That's the claw of the defect. Previously, I'd looked at this and thought it was some kind of weird Romulan Klingon spaceship. Not true. It's a very fast claw strike. My mistake. It won't happen again. The boot. Not relevant for us right now, even with FTL. So I think Sapphire Key is an absolutely acceptable choice. Um, With 22 HP, we gotta be smart. We gotta start going this way. I mean, a free Seek is disgusting. Is there ever a situation where we'd be mad that the Seek showed up? No. We could have removed the card, but I mean, Seek, it, it just... Basically, it has taken me a while to get to this point, unfortunately, but I should come to see Seek as a card that is basically like, Hey, replace this with any card you want. And in my head, I'm like, that doesn't seem that good. Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> It's extremely great. All right. Nine damage. Interesting. I think we we do things very simply. That, that, and that. Uh, we definitely did not need that. We could have zapped instead. Oh, well. So, certainly, let's see if this is all it's cracked up to be. Seek. I think it doesn't matter what we seek is the, is the truth of that. Easy. I think more cold snaps makes a lot of sense. I think going for a, a sort of frosty build is, is where this is headed. I think we can definitely afford to get a recall here. And we've got our whole triumvirate set up. Emerald Key, definitely Caesar. Probably say that the red key is Pompey and then the blue key is Crassus. Such a pain in the butt to have to give up treasure to get it. But we gave up treasure that was not that strong, so... Oh well. Seek. Um, we do have enough blocks, so I'm gonna be smart, I think, in fusion. Make our future life a little bit better. So we're getting... I've got ideas here. We're getting somewhere. Um, I don't think we need to block, because we're going to get 25 rests no matter what. So I think, go ahead, take two damage. Who cares, right? Two damage is not a big enough deal to, to care about. You're toast. You're toast. You're not toast. You're toast again. Butter it up, baby. I Honestly, I really like the explosive potion. <laughs> really helps weed out those enemies who are super annoying. Like, they're the encounters that are like, hey, we're six enemies with 10 HP each. We hit you for 100 on turn one. Defrag. It's tempting. I feel like Defrag is not that good, though. One focus? Who cares? We can play Consume multiple times. Now, Hologram... You know, you, there's got to be situations where, like, if you Hologram Plasma, you get to some good stuff. Or even Recursion. You know what? 
I, mean, I really do like hologram, but let's try recursion too, and let's pretty much immediately make it free. I know seek replaces itself with two cards, but fusion becomes, it costs one, which is really good um, as well. But, you know, I mean, that's, okay, now you got me thinking, but recursion, fusion, if we're just looking at it from an energy economy standpoint, fusion's got to be up there. I mean, like, even that was not that bad. It's slow, but so what? I mean, it's to be expected, right? Um, we'll seek. We definitely do not need a dual cast early. So I will probably just take a cold snap. And then I'm going to consume. Cold snap. Cold snap. All of a sudden, we get 10 free block. Not taking that much damage. Okay. Let me think. I don't really want Zap out there. You know, I, I do. I do want Zap out there. We could have done that a, a variety of different ways. Let's just roll the energy over. We're still doing six passive damage per turn. It's pretty good. The five passive block is the real, it's the go-getter right now. Um, so we're taking no damage. It's very nice. Let's shuffle our orbs. Do a bunch of damage in the process. Whoops, I had set that up a little wrong, but that's okay. And this is, again, we, we basically want Frost. So do that. Consume. It's a little, it's a little tricky here. Yeah, okay. So we get seven passive block per turn. I feel like we, we definitely... I mean, this is like a little preview of where we want to go with this build, but... We're definitely going to want to generate more orb slots in order to make consume sustainable. But it's still working out okay on floor one. You'll forgive me, I hope, uh, the occasional misuse of it. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck it does, more or less, where it works. Certainly, I think now is probably the wrong time to use it. But even just by making our orbs easier to evoke, it's doing something. Well, gonna get a decent amount here. He's still dead, though. I think this build can work. I don't know if we're there yet. Certainly, like, the arm grabber from Factorio is maybe what I want next. We don't really need to use dual cast here, so let's, let's not and say we did. At some point, I'm hoping we can do some damage to this guy, but I'm, I'm skeptical. Our deck is 85% burns at this point. We're not dead. We're like sadly very close. Oh my god, it's some attacks. I'm really trying to get out of this, by the way, without using my explosion potions. <laughs> if it's gotta be done, I suppose it has to be done. And I think it's got to be done. 14 block. You're doing 18 damage. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You'll be killed by lightning. Okay. Thank God. Um, so that did not go well at the end. Let's get rid of... Turns out we probably definitely could have afforded to use one, but oh well. We can afford a meteor strike. It will work in this deck. We have the energy. It might take us a little while to get there. I, I love the idea of Sozu, but we're building our own energy. We need the inserter. It makes consume work. We, I think that this is a very, very, very good turn of events for us. I hope to prove it to you soon. Um, I think we should accept we're going to fight one elite. So we're going to take this path. Oh, you guys are real nasty. Okay. Um, fusion... That's, that's for next turn. This is for right now. We don't have zero cost cards. So we'll scrape for a free seven damage. Only taking five, but we did require a potion. But we have energy now. 
it's kind of where we were going. Um, hold on, cold snap real quick. Seek recursion. It's free energy to just use recursion. Seventeen block. We're not gonna take damage, so I'm not gonna use any uh, any potions here. Yeah, this is what I mean. One turn is set up. Now we're looking great. Mind you, we used a couple of potions to set it up as well, but those potions kind of suck now. Why not? I mean, it doesn't. We need to put damage out there. That's that's the why not that I was looking for. Not quite dead yet. Close though. Yeah, so like turn one looked horrible. Now things look great. And look at this. You, you make it a few turns, all of a sudden you get Meteor Strike. I think we can afford to cool headed. It's going to be as good as a basic block after a while. Three energy is the real problem here. So I'm going to let you. I think it'll be better for the future. I'm going to let you hit me a little bit. One Frost is worth six block. Charge battery, seven plus energy. I think I'd rather have the orb. It's only five block. I was very incorrect. That would have changed my decision, admittedly. Fusion's very nice. I'm going to put it out there. Um, I did think, you know, just more passive block, also great, but... Okay, so we need to be able to block. Cool headed is helpful. See, of course, I mean these are problems. We can't play that. Um, we're taking no damage. I don't think it's worth at all. I mean, it, it, there's no think. It's just not at all worth replacing or uh, playing those cards there. Um, by the way, there is no think. A great subtitle for this series in general for me. We need to get to 27 block. I don't think it's impossible. In fact, it turned out to be very, very simple indeed. I know we got a lot of dazes out there. Uh, I got a, a reckless strategy uh, regarding those dazes. It's very simple. The strategy is just hope we don't see them. Worked out. What can I say? Do we need another leap? I'm going to say yes, especially because it's upgraded. I will not lose all of my gold, my good friends. I refuse. So the next... Oh my god. The next step for this deck, without any question, the history of planet Earth. Hold on, I'm thinking. Am I okay taking five damage? Consume cool-headed? Or would I rather take two damage? Yeah. Let's do things that way. Um... Energy, that's what I was going to say. An energy relic that actually starts us strong is where I, I want slash need to be. I need to take a fusion. Just Oh, and it did get played twice, that's right. Um, I'm looking and I'm like, if we fusion, cold snap, cold snap. Recursion is not enough. What about fusion, cold snap? Dual cast. It's not enough. Um, I'll take FTL then, just for damage. That's fine. Not good, but fine. So I'm going to start here. <clears throat> I mean, we're going to get hit. In theory, this could take 10 damage off the field, but I think I'd rather use this. That takes 10 damage off the field. And then, let's take, like, four damage, but get energy next turn. Fusion is another potential choice. I mean, that's what we got with Seek, and we didn't even play it. So, a, a pebcak issue. Problem exists between keyboard and chair. No question. Might have wanted to double up on Leap, actually. Ah, whatever. We're at, we're at zero damage. What do we care? Just kill him. Lovely. All right, so that, this has actually gone fine. And this has been one of my, like... Yeah, this will work. Um, it's been one of my issues. Like, I keep thinking that the run sucks, but it's actually doing great stuff. Recycle, um, it's like purity, but it costs one. 
The idea being we could use uh, Recycle to constantly exhaust, you know, a strike, a defend, thin out our deck, but... I don't think we want to do that here. Reprogram, I don't think that's worth it. Turbo, I don't think we... We do need the energy. But I, I just, the risk is so high, I think. Um, this is a tough one. Which one's Decay? Two damage. I think I'll take Decay. I know the shop's close, but, you know, with all the fights in advance of it, it does scare me a little. Alright, we're taking no damage, which is very merciful. Enfeebling spores, you no, 21 damage next. I mean, it's also horrible, of course. I think we'd rather consume... Still, it's gonna be a painful turn. We're gonna take 8 damage. Well, 10 because of Decay. Now we get a chance. Seek. I think you just want Zap. Yeah, why wouldn't you cold snap there? <laughs> Sorry, I almost outthought myself a little. Not that hard to do. Also, my brain thought I still had Echo Form. I don't even think we play it. I mean, Recursion is just, like, disgusting. Um, let's layer these nicely. We are taking a bunch of damage. 16. It warrants a rest, unfortunately. So this is definitely not as, like, lights out as our last run looked like it was. But then we died on our last run, so what do I know? Overclock. We need... I, I gotta stop adding cards to the deck for now because we really need energy. That's the, the nuts and bolts of it. Like, without energy, we're in a real tough spot. So I should maybe accept, okay, turn one. Let's get a fusion out there. And, I mean, we could play consume. Why not play a leap instead? You know, we got the extra energy out there. It's basically an energy relic for the time being. And then now we can start to do things like, okay, get that out there. Certainly it's still worth the recursion. We get energy uh, evoking chances next turn. Hmm. Certainly we are going to want to seek. What are we going to seek? Probably a leap. Cold Snap's got a certain temptation. Let's see what we... We drew a leap. Okay. So I think we'll seek Cold Snap. Leap. We don't need to use Dual Cast here, so we won't. It's just slow. We're, wait we're waiting on more consumes, more or less. This is a very bad turn for us. 20 damage. Lots of wounds. A truly staggering amount of wounds. Consume already, it's like an extra four block. Not to mention the damage. And then this pays for its, uh, we gotta play FTL first. Good. Um, I still think you start here when it comes to energy. 16, so we're at 26. Yo, that was surprisingly great. Things are still very dire. 21 damage. Um, we're gonna get over that, which is good. I think we got him, but it's tight. We gotta create orbs. So let's start here. Okay, then Cool Headed is very good. Recursion, also good. You're doing a lot of damage. We have 28 block. So that takes us up to 35 block. We should take one damage here. That's not bad. One wound added to the deck, not a big deal. Okay. Um, this is another extremely bad one. If we dual cast you, you're taking 22 damage, but nothing beyond that. No, you would take 22, and then you would take 6 from the zap. It's the return of the zap once again. Bag of marbles, not what we need at all. Okay, barrage is very good. It fits the deck. So, so does static discharge. Honestly, we're taking a lot of damage, but... Barrage is a more hopeful card. Now I'm in no man's land. I don't know what we want. We Apotheosis is almost tempting, but we already have a very expensive deck. 
Um, I think we're going to start with the curse removal. It's good value for money. An upgraded buffer is really nice, but who's our boss? Not necessarily an enemy that hits us multiple times. That buffer could save our lives. But also does not fit with the archetype. But is a great card. That's a tough one. I think I'm not ever going to be sad to see it. And it's a good upgrade target. So let's, let's be happy and content with that. Smiling mask. Hilarious timing. Okay. I do want to upgrade buffer. We just could not afford to do it there. Okay. Okay. 12 damage. That's great because Leap just handles it. I think I, I right now I have this like urge and the urge is like oh this deck sucks we got to pivot. I think that's very bad. I think it's just too late to do that. Um Hold on, I'm looking. Well, I'm basically looking to see if there's any way that I could buffer my way out of this problem. Cuz I need to get to 6 block I think to buffer out of it and I can't do that. So, as weird as it sounds, I would rather buffer later. That hit the wrong enemy without a doubt. No, I would have blocked 18. So, it probably would have been the right choice. Things are real spotty right now. Really want to get through that armor. Um... And we didn't need to make him vulnerable that turn. I don't know, man. Uh, this one, it's, it's got me spooked a little bit. I think the setup time is too long. I am... It's not quite enough block, but it's real close once we do that. Um, and by real close, I mean there. Um, I'm going to toss me a consume in here. We'll lose that, though. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I I don't know. I feel like if we get an energy relic from this boss, that could change our fortunes drastically. I hope that's the case, but... Uh, I'm not necessarily convinced. We should definitely have played that last. That was very dumb. We want to punch through the armor first, and then Barrage is like, it takes away four-plated armor from you. That's disgusting. Why not play a buffer, right? We're not going to take any more damage here. So I think, like, there's a pretty good chance we'll make it through this floor. Um, I hope. I don't think we need a ball lightning, even though it does make things easier to evoke. I'm sort of tempted to take overclock, but there's no way to exhaust it. So, I mean, I think if we live through, like, these next few fights, we could be okay. I love a turn that plays itself. We haven't had that too much lately. Um, and the lovely targeting, too. If we get an energy relic from the boss, it could all come together, I hope. That's my dream. Consumes a little dicey. We don't want to play buffer here. So we what are we going to play? Zap and charge battery. Possibly defend. Leap is really... I mean, leap is a solid card. Maybe we'll just take that. Why do we not want to play buffer? Because it's just unnecessary. Although I will say, now I look at it and I'm like, why not play buffer? It's going to block 9 damage next turn. I'm going to do it. Still need that upgraded buffer ASAP. So we have 5 energy now. Um, I think consume is a really good choice immediately. And then we will hit and hit and we should have dual cast it a little differently but it's actually only going to block three on the buffer we're going to take another nine damage here pretty bad all right but now we can start to think barrage is real solid so something like this yeah this is okay 
two energy back. This is what we want. We want to be able to generate that, you know, 20 or more passive block per turn. We, and when I say 20 or more, I'm putting a big focus on the or more. <laughs> so we're at 28. Dude, just go. Yeah. 36. That's better. They're getting strong, though. One of them has not been hurt at all, by the way. I'm not sure if that's been noticed uh, or not yet. You're doing 36 damage. We have 35 block. This is the start of things starting to get mighty dangerous, I think. We are about to take 15 extra strength off the table, hopefully. Uh, that was a big hopefully, apparently. I didn't realize. I think we have to dual cast. I, mean, I don't even need to run the numbers. The whittling has begun. Okay, 24 damage. Now we get a few turns of like relative safety. And I, okay, when it when it rains, it pours, I guess. <clears throat> we don't play enough powers for Storm to be useful. I will say Doom and Gloom has got a certain temptation, but... Can I abstain for now? We're in a race against time, really. He does, like, multiple attacks is the, the unfortunate thing here, but... I still think we'd rather have this... 21 damage. Okay. I think we just want leap. Yeah. Hopefully ride out the debuffs. You're going to think that I'm being ridiculous right now. And maybe I am. I think we want a barrage consume. But I really, perhaps irrationally, do believe all this deck needs right now is four energy earlier. Hold on, 15 damage. Sorry, 15 block is what I meant to say. 21 block. That's all right. Buffer's going to get used for one damage. You know, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. We need ice cream or something, like... We're rolling too much energy over now, is the sad thing. Well, we're definitely not gonna get hit, which is nice. On the other hand, we're, we're real slow. I don't, I don't know if this one's got what it takes. I certainly hope it does. I think if it just gets more energy to start with, we're weirdly safe. Reinforced body, I mean, I was just complaining, you know, that I think we need ice cream, which is kind of what I was asking for there. Right, unplayable innates. I was willing to, okay, I, I'm still happy with that, to be honest with you. I really felt like we kind of had to make our play. If we survive this, I truly believe in my heart of hearts that anything is possible. Or a Calcum, it's nice. It means if we don't block, we get six block. Regardless of the fact that we have 50 block up here, we just add six to it, it's pretty good. Um, surely a cool headed is fine here. And then a Seek. Why not throw in an early fusion? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leap, I think is the best choice. Barrage also, of course, tempting, but mostly because this guy's got Metallicize now. Did they buff him? While I was away, I did not give permission for that to happen. Consume is very unfortunate here because it loses the plasma orb. But I'm willing to go for it. Because I think it's a necessary part of the process. Let's get a lightning orb closer to the front. And we might as well. I mean, we're, you have 10 metallicized now. Um, pardon me. Again, I feel the need to point out I did not say that was okay. I don't know where you get off adding changes to this game without my permission. Especially ones that affect me by making me appear as bad at the game as I actually am. We can't punch through right now, so we might as well just block.
All right, so I'm assuming he's going to buff himself in the worst way possible. Let's draw. Consume. Now Fusion can do something next turn. All righty. At least he's buffing strength instead of more metallicize. Where are we going now? Oh, we're going, we're going places. Look at this. Actual damage. I never thought I would see the day. 27 block by default is perfect right now. It means we, it, we're actually better off not blocking at all. Unless we get something good. Um, this is weird. I think we fusion. Recursion. And then we have 24 block. Then we consume. We go to 28. That's perfect. We get the extra energy out of it as well. That's where I wanted to be. Buffer's still going strong. 21. We're, we're still over that, thanks to Oracalcum. Oh, I evoked a fusion by mistake. That's alright. We got the 64 block. Very slow going here, but can't really complain. Meteor Strike is kind of like our late game win condition, so I definitely like, I feel a need to get it out there. So we want Consume, did not get it, still. Barrage gets something done. We need more Frost Orbs, big Frosty please, Frosty turn. It's not on Frosty. We're still going to take no damage, but it's just, it's very slow. Again, I mean, a Meteor Strike at this point now pays for itself, more or less. I would like to Cold Snap. And then, I still want to consume. 22. So we actually have enough block. I know that seems ridiculous. We're going to gain more energy next turn, though. With Oracalcum, we had enough block, just to be clear. This is like the absolute slowest fight I've ever had against this guy, but, I mean, it's a slow fight I'm very confident in right now. Could maybe use a little bit more lightning. <laughs> a little bit more damage wouldn't hurt. Uh, sure, why not? And then recursion, free energy. Weirdly enough, it seems like we need more draw, too. Like... Oh, you know what we actually need is, like, a hologram upgraded, followed by more consumes? Like... Like, I think here, we would rather not play more energy. We don't need more energy at this point. It's diminishing returns. We just need more frost. So I think we're starting to get there. We just focus on the frost integration that we've got going on. Life is but a dream. I don't even have to run the numbers. I'm not scared at all. Okay, he executed and did no damage. Fantastic. Like, we're in this weird state right now where we're playing Meteor Strike for damage, which is not what it's good at. But it is, it's given us a lot of sustenance. Already we're taking no damage, which is quite nice. And, you know, it just, like, never ends, apparently, so... 96 block is pretty good. I would prefer if it didn't take us 80 minutes to fight the second floor boss, but at the same time, who's complaining? You're doing 40 damage, which is hilariously inert. It's nothing. Literally, like, nothing you do can cause me any pain whatsoever. So, cool. Fantastic. It's 121 block. You know what we need? Uh, calipers. This fight is... I've got to actually give it up to this fight. It's doing a fantastic job of illuminating what would be good for me in the future. Calipers apparently would be amazing. You're doing 60 damage. I do not care. I could not care less. We need some... And need is actually a strong word here. We would like some means of doing more damage quickly, but... Like, we got a, a real frosty sort of situation going on.
I mean, we did like a hundred and or we put up a hundred and twenty-four block that turn, mind you. We also did like no damage. <laughs> But, hey, dude, when we do draw zaps, it's an 18 damage per turn zap. That's pretty solid. That was very satisfying as well. Okay, so you're dead, and we basically didn't get hurt. It did take 55 minutes. Ugh. I mean... I really think you could do with any of these... Electro is only going to be good early for the most part because we have so few lightning later. I think, uh, obviously, multicast is like, you look at it and you go, there's the dream. But it's mostly going to be multicasting frost. So even if we have 8 energy, okay. We don't need the multicast frost most of the time. I think rainbow for getting some kind of offensive punch but also evoking orbs and channeling more orbs is probably our best option. And we really want to upgrade that ASAP. Um... And I, we need the energy. So, dude, the, the fight went on so long I forgot what I asked for. We don't play that many cards. I don't think Timekeeper's a problem. More than any other boss, at least. Uh, okay. Let's try early question marks. I don't know, man. One of those rare situations where the boss fight went so much better than the rest of the fight that I, I have no idea where we stand, to be honest. We're going to take one damage, which is not a big deal. I will always put one self-repair in any deck if they give me the choice. By the way, we got a real problem. These guys have got to explode. So, we're hoping. Okay, acceptable. Definitely should have played Leap. We're not going to take any damage. So, actually, we played the right card, but... Only by luck. I didn't run the numbers. So one of these guys is about to do 30 damage to us. Let's... There's no getting around it. So we're... It's a 60 damage turn. A little aggressive. Yeah, that, that was horrible. So, uh... That might be the first time... I have ever thought that those guys were the most dangerous. <laughs> just does not happen. Most of the time you're like, hey, oh, it's the free fight. But, but you got no attacks. Uh, things change, I guess. I previously would have probably done that, but I don't think I can afford to here. I, I will. I will fight a boss from Act 1. And you know what? We got 25 free health out of that. I forgot that that would work. Lovely. So, hopefully we can wait two turns and then evoke this Dark Orb, but... Yeah, this is fine. I know it doesn't look great right now, but as long as we can evoke that this turn, we're going to split this guy nicely. Um, consume doesn't help us here, unfortunately. What would we like to evoke this orb? We can't evoke this orb. Correct. What we would like to do, then, is block. This is the easiest turn of my life. I literally looked at it and I was like, there's no way. Look, how about this? How about we block for 35 damage, wait for this Dark Orb to become the greatest thing we ever could have asked for. Or we could evoke it right now. What are we guaranteed to draw? Strike. So we would be hoping to draw two evocables next turn, but we can also get slimes, which is very dangerous. Um, I think we should just... I think we should fusion, so we only need, or sorry, zap or fusion, so we only need one card, but I'm going to go zap to take you closer to death. And we don't want to get you below 70. That's not going to be a problem. Extra energy next turn. Okay, so really a dual cast is a dream come true, but anything, it it ruins you. There's 38 damage right there. Okay. Strike. And get this trash out of here. Now, you never should have to, well... Maybe never is a strong word. You don't want to be in a situation where it seems like you have to play this intelligently. Still good. Uh, in order to get through a first floor boss when you're on the third floor. But, I mean, I'm glad it's going as well as it is. You're doing 22 damage. Not really a big deal. Should have played one slime. Oh well. There's still toast. So I'm pretty happy with this deck, believe it or not. 
20 damage. Why not? I think you would believe it. It's a little weird. It's wonky. It's slow. Reminds me a little bit of somebody I know. It's a joke about myself. Tori. I don't know how useful it'll be, but I'm happy to have it. Sunder is an attack, by the way. <laughs> so I shouldn't maybe just go, ah, it doesn't fit. But, ah, it doesn't fit. Let's try it. No, no, no. Save this for the elite. I'm not going to play buffer on... Go ahead and hit me for two. See if I care, dude. That being said... I'm going to dual cast it right away. This should be a fast fight, because he gets strong. Tori hit me for one, thanks to Tori. I'm not playing buffer to get over one damage. Don't make me laugh. So with four energy... Your run is like four energy. Four energy is what I need. Oh, whoa. Shouldn't sing. Oh, it's 9.40 a.m. The rest of my building should be awake. The layabouts. We gotta play that for three, or alternatively, perhaps you seek a leap to buy you some time. 15 block. 18 block. I'm still gonna reinforce body so I don't take two damage, but it does pain me a great deal, rest assured. 21. It's tougher. So we're taking five. I really should stop gambling on us getting stronger than he is, because it doesn't necessarily seem like we're going to get there, but... Ooh, I did my math way wrong on that one. Yeah, I thought we'd be evoking three. We were not evoking three, we are evoking one. Anyway, he's dead, but... Anyway, he's not dead. He's dead next turn. We're going to take one in the process. It's still not that bad. We don't need to rest yet. Which is good because we really need these upgrades. I think Blizzard is actually like a, an endgame win condition. Alright, so this is an important one. I don't think we need a second Blizzard necessarily. We don't do any X things in this deck. Pen nib, not necessary. Okay, so let's start. Be, be cool. Let's get rid of our curse. That's an easy one. We could add a second blizzard. I still don't think we need to. No valuable potions, really. For us. Um, I mean, defrag is a certain temptation, but consume is just... It's more sustainable. It's a weird shop for me. I know we get a shop on the fourth floor if we make it. Who knows? We might get a shop on route here, but... <laughs> It's hard to say no, but... I mean, Pen Nib is pretty cheap. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I don't think anything there is immediately necessary. Okay, Smithing. Buffer becomes twice as good, but it's tough because it's not what we want from this deck. But even still, it does get twice as good. So does Seek. I think Seek would probably be my first choice. But Buffer, I, we do need to upgrade it. It pains me to admit it. Oh, you son of a gun, I hate you. 18 damage. We can live with that on turn one. Go ahead, hit me for zero. We got to play a consume, I like that. 16 damage, not that bad. Meteor Strike is always tempting, but what, you never know what he's gonna do, right? I think I'd rather buffer and just start hitting him with something, you know? I just don't want to hurt him. <laughs> I don't want to do, like, like, real attacks. Okay, now I'll do a real attack. It's got to do real damage, though. Hmm. Hmm. I like this. Um, we take no damage. We're really... The longer this goes on, the better it is for us. The Dark Orb will eventually get out there. So, as far as I'm concerned, dude, like... This is fine by me. He doesn't get any stronger. So, I can just let this Dark Orb sit here. Generate more lightning, generate more frost. What do I care, right? We were already taking no damage, I guess, but 
I don't want to attack you. There, there's no point. I'll just I'll ice you with one of these dark orbs. Uh, now we might want to think about uh, that not being what we do because life is pain. Um, well, it's tough. It's actually really tough because Meteor Strike will obviously evoke three orbs. Not it'll take all of our energy though to do it, and it won't do that much damage. So if I split you into or if I change you into doing something that's not that good, that's gonna suck. So I think like why not? See what you do here. 36 damage. Still pretty bad. And you also have 25 block, which is disgusting. Much better. This guy's a bit of a crapshoot. We got lucky there, I think. Dark Orb, very helpful getting them low as well. 24 damage? It's not that bad. We gotta think. Can we get to 24? You're at 10. We can't get a Frost Orb to the front. So it'd be 18, 25? Yeah, why not? Again, very simple premise here. If we don't have to hit this guy, if this guy's doing not very much to us, what do we care? Let him live his life. And I'm even of the same position right here. The only thing that's got me thinking is like, no, it won't even work. So we'll do this, this, this. We know we're taking no damage. Slow going, but also simultaneously a dream come true. Can we kill you? Here's the thing. We don't have to. Beautiful. Not that bad. Sweeping beam. Tempting. Too late. Alright, so I do think buffer, you know... It's kind of... It's not an amazing card for us until we upgrade it. Regal Pillow is fine. I will fight this elite because I really want to get the campfire in. Hmm. So we'll start with a doubled seek. And, I mean, it, it's nice early to get a fusion out there. I even think, like, you know, fusion cons... But we're gonna play buffer. So let's say fusion... And, uh, do we have any other one-cost card we like? Yes, we do. So maybe FTL? We could do eight damage to you. I would rather do a cold snap and then a buffer. Okay. Good start. Three damage. Five damage. That's horrible. I feel bad for you. I would like to play Meteor Strike, but I do not want to lose a buffer to make it happen. So, well, no, no, no. Okay, we can play Meteor Strike, we'll get two energy back. That's fine, then. Taking no damage, doing some damage. Now we got some energy to work with. What do we want out of it? I mean, Rainbow kind of sucks. Everything we have here kind of sucks. Rainbow, it, it doesn't suck, okay? Here's the thing. We don't need the amount of energy we have. Obviously, that was bad. But the Dark Orb is kind of like our... It's our victory condition, sort of. Sometimes. This is really bad. Now it's not so bad. Well, we have Buffer, so I think you just accept that that's a little wonky, and you uh, choose to take the Buffer hit, and you just get that Dark Orb stronger, and everything's still okay here. So we're just waiting on the Dark Orb to get a little stronger. We, we're in no rush. 31 damage, again. Here's the thing. Either we will generate 31 block, which is, it looks likely to be the case, or... We'll let the buffer handle it. This thing's getting stronger every turn. I'm not I'm not sweating it at all. We are kind of wasting some turns, but it's all right. This turn. 21 plus 12. There you go. Again. There's no reason to rock the boat here as far as I'm concerned. Now there's an incredible reason to rock the boat. Because that's just, uh, you're, I, I didn't know that you could do 70 damage. My bad. That's on me. Uh, I would like to generate, like, a lot of block. I'm not really worried about hitting you for 20. So let's start with a little cool-headed action here. See what we draw. Hold snap. It's 35 block. It's a start. Even better. Um, 38 block. 43 block. We shouldn't have done that because we have... Oh, no, because of buffer, it was still good. It didn't block as much as it could have in a, in a perfect world. But... All right. 
Again, any enemy that... Oh my god. Any enemy that gets substantially stronger as time goes on is going to be a bit of a problem. 6 times 7 is 102 damage. 6 times 7 is another 42 on top of this. Okay. So I'm like, yes. oh my god. Life is pain, dude. I didn't realize this guy actually gets good. I thought he sucked forever. At some point, he starts doing 140 damage. Who signed off on that? That's crazy talk. Are you insane? Oh, well. Um, yeah, so this is a tough one. I think we would love to get Madness here. We got a lot of two or five cost cards. So here's we're gonna we're gonna play a little game here. We're gonna seek out madness, and we're gonna seek out meteor strike, and we're gonna go hyuk and hyuk, and it actually worked. And I am a genius. All right, eighteen damage. We are gonna take a hit. Doesn't really matter if we hit you, but... We're only getting hit for six, it's not that bad. 45 damage. Great turn to get a buffer. Which is drawable. Who? Um... Okay. So, we're incredibly lucky our power card worked out for us. We shouldn't even block, honestly. That's two free energy. I just have to think about... Whether we, you know what, we don't need three frost orbs. I think I'm happier having a dark orb out there for like our confidence's sake, and then we don't need to play dual cast. Okay, everything's going fine. Losing the buffer sucks, but hey, check it out. It's a buffer. Now I will consume, and I think I want another frost orb. Our lightning, you know, it served its, or sorry, our energy plasma, it served its purpose. But let's move on. We have two buffers out there. Start with a cold snap. Uh, it's still a little whack. Extra energy. Can we block 45 to save a buffer? No. We can block 27 plus 7. If we used our energy potion, we probably could, but that's that seems like a bad play. Much smarter use of our resources there. Okay, so this Dark Orb is getting real nice. We're not going to get there, but... Buffer is going to save us yet again. Don't get that Dark Orb out there. It's a very bad choice. Yeah. Alright, all we need is to evoke a single orb next time. He will be killed. We'll get a Relic. Life is beautiful. That'll work. Toxic Egg, way too late to be super nice. What? Um, okay. Yeah, a Darkness Plus. That seems awesome here. We're gonna heal for 25 energy. Just add a card. One card. Uh, dude, okay, a one energy Apotheos, of course, because of the upgrade. That makes sense. Remember, we have Pantograph, so we're about to heal. What deserves the upgrade? I kind of like the concept of a free madness. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, much better. Rainbow not exhausting. Because they... Dark Orbs and Frost Orbs are, are how we're going to do this, I think. The faster we get it consumed, the better, probably. But let's... Okay. It, it's a totally fine turn. We played three cards. We lost half of one buffer. We got to consume out there. Yes, we have less draw. That's life. You're doing 21 damage. We're going to get to 22 block. It's a dream come true. We get five cards. 26. That's a little tougher. In fact, it's impossible. No, it's not with Oric. Yes, it is, even with Oric Calcum. So what would we like to do this turn? Probably nothing. And have a stronger turn next turn? I know it's, it's not great. Okay. Or at least, let me start here. This one sucks, by the way. 
Why do I say such terrible things? Um, because we only have one card next turn. Something tells me it probably won't be a buffer. That was a... Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that. Because of Auric Alchem. We basically paid a card for two block. <laughs> not particularly good. So, by the way, we have no cards to draw. So, let's not waste our time playing Seek. Yeah, that seems fine. We are going to take nine damage. This is going to be a bit tight. But, dude, look at these two Dark Orbs. They're just sitting there, like, waiting to strike. And, in fact, call me crazy. I look at this and I say, why would I play a card? Why, why do I care about playing nine damage strikes, you know? Let's just keep those for better use later. 42 damage. Now we're a little bit afraid. But, um, uh, what, what can we do about 42 damage coming in? Sadly, not very much. I don't really want to evoke this orb. I think we win if we don't evoke that orb. I have to let him hit me. That's the, that's the real meat of the matter here. I want to kill this guy without him getting the chance to rebuff. 27. So this is where things get obviously dangerous. Um, just thinking. 27. I mean, we can get there. Cool-headed. I do want a consume. That's 28 block. We don't need to play a charge battery, and we're pretty unlikely to need energy for next turn. If we were to seek something out, we'd channel a dark orb, which I don't want to do. I think we'd rather just wait. It's a very tactical fight right now. We have four cards next turn. One bad turn kills us. So we would really like to play four cards here. That's as easy as that. Um, as one, a two. Now, I hate it, but I will evoke this orb. Just to ensure that we can have 12 cards next turn. And he is doing 58 damage, which is a lot. So we might want to evoke this one as well, but we need to get to the block first. So we have 16. If you add 45 to 16, you get to 61. Seems like a very great turn for us. Because we get these to go a little deeper as well. Again, if we could play these later, it's even better because he's about to heal up. And we're kind of at the point where all we want to do with this card is dual cast it. But we also need the blocks. So, I mean, this by itself is 8 block. That takes us to 24 plus a defend. I know you look at consume and you say that there's a lot of value in that as well. I would never dispute that. It's 32 block. I don't want to channel a Dark Orb. We're being very tactical right now. I thought you'd be proud of me. Okay, so Dual Cast is, again, what we're waiting for. Um, it's sitting there, dude. I kind of feel like a Blizzard... It's going to put you in split range. So I think I'll wait. Even though, like, 24, it would take you to 20, uh, 216. Next turn, you'd be like, I'm split. And, and then we'd be like... Ah. Maybe we'd like you to split next turn, now that I think about it. Not split, sorry. You know what I mean by split. It triggered that activated ability where he's like, I gotta buff myself. Okay, this is actually fine. Uh, we can get away with playing nothing. And we're very relatively likely to draw dual cast next turn. And kill him, which is what's going to happen. So, I'm a genius, somehow. Didn't expect that. I have no idea what we're going to do on this floor. But that was a pretty good defect run. I'm proud of myself. We took an hour, so what? It was a fun time. What comes next? Free recursion. I don't know. Energy's never been our problem. I think consume working faster is a big one. Yeah. Barrage, I mean, potentially, it could be another, like, 12 damage. It's not bad. Free energy. A lot of extra block out of this, admittedly, sometimes. But I think... Consume is a big engine for us, so start there. Um, 
A second consume is scary, but also potentially quite valuable. But, hey, check it out. This is a dead card. Get out of my deck. I hate you. Not necessary or relevant at all. Unlike, very unlikely to be relevant. There's three enemies left. I don't know if, we do get statuses. Um, this is crazy. But I think we take this to get rid of the statuses that this guy gives us. Like the final boss gives us. And that's as close as I get to making a good play. I don't think we need consume. I think we're happy with our orb to orb sacrifice balance right now. So if there is a god on planet Earth, no wait, we can do wait, we can make meteor strike free. Um, this turn's gonna stink a little though. There's not much we can do about it. Would I rather face you? Take six damage off? Yeah, I think so. So like this, maybe not. Maybe I'm a fool. I am. An extreme fool. We're still going to do this. Let's run the numbers. Right now there's 26 damage. If I turn here, there will be 38 damage. Yeah, this is right, right? I'm not, a, I'm not a complete idiot, I think. Now we want to face this guy without a doubt. Luckily, we have a ton of energy. I can't face you, though. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I'd like to. Oh, let's go. Let's just face this guy right off the bat. We got four energy left. Um, so he's doing 45 damage. How about no instead? And we'll do like... Uh, but, I mean, recursion's free, so I kind of like that right off the bat. I know you're looking at buffer, and you're like, buffer's the ticket. But why, why not just take a reinforced body instead and then kind of go hog wild on him, you know? Yeah, this is fine. I mean, we should always play a leap and then the rest in... Reinforced body, but in the end it didn't matter. So we definitely want to turn again, face you. Every now and then I get a little bit something, 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 coming, something. Okay, well, uh, probably like... Are we screwed? I don't think we're completely screwed. We're almost certainly screwed on the actual boss, but I think we're going to make it through these guys. You know what my real problem is right now? I have no friggin' idea which orb is front and which orb is back. Right has to be back. Or sorry, right has to be front is what I mean to say. Okay, buffer's gonna work here. We need more draw. Like, there's some real problems going on here. Thirty-six damage. Why are you so? Oh, we lost focus at the start of this fight. Anyway, that's that's correct. Hey, we actually killed an enemy. Okay. I mean, consume is insanely great to begin with. I don't even think we need the the fusion orbs. We basically just need a dual casted dark orb, and we win. Um, or alternatively, even just like this, plus this. Okay, Ma Bank, what a perfect relic for us to get just in advance of what literally has to be the final fight. So typically we're going to want block first, but there's nothing we can do about that here. I think you still, you, you have to go hard, turn one. There's no other, and don't even get the zap, you want the extra energy. I'll still hit you with a strike. Pain me though it does. So here's every negative effect. At least we can exhaust the statuses. That's a big one for us. Get the heck out of my deck forever. Get out of my deck forever. Um, by the way, we're going to die right here. Unless... Yeah, two Dark Orbs might be like the only way we live. We have to play it. It, it, it 
burns me up. Burns me up a great deal, but this is the only way we survive for now. 24 damage. So I, I think we need a leap immediately. I actually don't mind the idea of like a leap and a buffer. There's got to be leap. This exhausts itself. Get out of my deck. Frig. We're going to lose. If I play buffer, I'll be at six. This is a bad one. I'm just trying to not have buffer waste itself. But also, we need to live. <laughs> so we're going to be at 12 block. And then he's going to hit me six times at one damage. I know this seems ridiculous. Because of Tori, he's not going to kill me. But he's almost going to kill me. Okay. It's all about the Dark Orbs, dude. we got to do 300 each two turns in a row. It's as simple as that. we got to consume, even though we lose the orb out of it. So we might as well do it this way. Uh, uh, that's right. I forgot about the whole, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, how on earth are we gonna do this? He's gonna hit us 12 times. Well, you gotta leap. That's an easy enough decision to make. He's doing 48 damage. We're gonna be at 45, and Tori might save us. 42 damage. Okay. Uh, that's a little rude. You know, I was trying to... I was playing the block card first for a reason. Literally, oh, I mean, if you don't play Leap First, you lose. Easy enough. Madness in a Meteor Strike. Life is but a dream. Um, I think we do have to. And I know we, we lose one Dark Orb in the process. I still think we have to. 72 damage. That's getting tough. The only way through is this. And I don't think we're going to get there. Oh, this guy's no joke, dude. But an attempt was made. I thought that run was pretty good. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. Twitch.tv slash northernline. YouTube.com slash northernline. I play a lot of this game. See you next time. See ya!